All right, all right, all right. Are you ready for it? I know I am. I am your host, Maximus Sack, and this is the LTC Sessions. It is the third Thursday of the month, which means we're live. And I'm live. I'm live right now. Can you feel it? I can feel it. We got an extra special treat for you this month. We got the band known as Captain Martini and the Keystoners. These two guys have a big, big old sound, and they're going to come at you. These songs are two minutes long, and they will blow your mind. So without any further ado, Captain Martini and the Keystoners. Hello, TV land. This is the LTC Sessions. We are Captain Martini and the Keystoners, and uh, <laughs> we're awesome. gluten-free. song for the women, about the women, by, well, not, not, not by the women, but, the, you know, you got the general gist. <laughs> oh, baby, you look so pretty. Suck it on your ass, green cone. Oh, baby, you look so pretty. I wish I could take you home.
apologize. I know that sometimes watching me sing that particular song gets a little bit scrapey, you know. <laughs> it's scrapey. I, I'm sorry. I don't mean that, you know. It just sort of happens that when I say certain things, I think I'm sounding cool or sexy. I really do come off as creep. You know, I, I first became aware of this problem that I have when I had a thing for the green haired girl. One, two, three, four! <laughs> Incarnate. Take 
makes ginormous balls. beautiful it is beautiful ah oh, mark don't you see it i do don't you see it give me a sec do you know what it is it's a walmart it's a walmart on fire one two three four <laughs> Public service announcement. It's important. We're on cable. We're supposed to do that, right? Public service announcement. Which is pretty much the name of this song. It's called Get Consent or Lose Your Dick. Thank you. 
get consent or lose your dick. Is that simple enough for you? Uh, this song's about Facebook, and it's aptly titled Face Farts.
All right, we're halfway there, folks. We're almost done, but we got a half show to go on. We're going to sit down. We're going to interview these guys, see what makes them tick. I don't even know. Have you been listening to the lyrics? I've been listening to the lyrics. This stuff is messed up. I want to see what's behind it. You want to see what's behind it. I got to go to the bathroom. Who cares? Sit down, listen to the interview. They're going to sit down and talk for a while. Do what you want. We're going to do it again. We're doing the LTC sessions live from LTC, Lowell, Massachusetts, every third Thursday of the month. I promise I'll behave. Tell me again, I love you. I just want to love you. I just want to love you. Uh, let's do it right in two. Uh, people making love like this should be. All them lies, now her, I do despise, and there was nowhere else that I would rather be, but on my way. The sun was cold this morning, as the night turned into day. are going strong they got some more force it's uh we're about halfway there folks again you're watching ltc you're watching the ltc session Who contest the best at the top? I'm just here, morning my spot. Kim Boko Jack trading all. We on the way to the diamonds, it's paved in all. Man, the road to riches sees me now. Got the dollars and we coming in on the week now. Huh? I'm breaking down the
Hey, how you doing? This is LTC Sessions, and I'm here on this rather cold, chill to the bone, raw New England night, and however appropriate, we have an awesome New England-based punk band called Captain Martini and the Key Stoners. Say what's up, guys. Hey, what's up, how guys? you doing? So, so, <laughs> um, that, <laughs> that was interesting. Yeah, that was know. interesting <laughs> to say the least. Um, so, so, welcome to the studio. Thank you, thank you. Hi, everyone Hi, everybody. out there. Um, and thank you for that set. And I look forward to the rest of it after the interview. Oh, uh, yeah, you can switch up. You get, you get uh, Mark in front after, uh, afterwards. So it's his, his time to shine. He's yeah, a superstar. Yeah. He's a superstar. So, so Mark, Mark's on drums, and you play other instruments too, right, Mark? Yep, I'm going to switch to the guitar after, after the interview. All right, yeah. and, then, and then introduce yourself out there. I, I'm, uh, I'm Jim, Jim Phelps, but also known as Captain Martini. So, <laughs> yeah, Captain, uh, so would you, are you the Keystone? He's, I he's am all the Keystone. Can, I, can I be another Keystone or two? Well, he's so cool, he's plural. <laughs> but yeah, you can be a Keystone. Thank you so much. <laughs> he said so, he's in charge of the Keystoning. <laughs> <laughs> <He's stoning. laughs> so um, we, c I guess we can all uh, thank our buddy um, Eric for Eric uh, bringing us all back Eric together. Mister Maximus Sack, thank nice, you, Eric. The nicest a hole I've ever met. He really I would have to agree with you on that. He really <laughs> is. The man. Um, Eric Sack's uh, Eric Sack. How long? How long? He looks like you, Macho you Randy Savage. That's what the cameraman was saying. I think he's right. Eric Sack looks like Randy Savage now. You think so? Well, at least in the I, I always <laughs> thought it was more of like a Billy Bob Thornton type of thing. I say the same thing. Billy, right? Billy right? Bob Thornton. Yeah, the same yeah. Thing. You, you know you guys are out there <laughs> thinking the same thing, man. But take a vote. There's a vote afterwards. Randy yep. Savage or Billy Bob. You can all decide. Yeah, hit Eric us up. Go to LTC.org <laughs> or <laughs> Facebook. Or let us know. <laughs> Does Eric look like Billy Bob Thornton or does he look like Macho Man Randy Savage? Macho Man Randy Savage. Which that is the vote. There we you go. <laughs> what answers by the next show, right? Yeah, there you go. All right, there one answers by the next you show. Will decide. All right, so um, Captain Martini and the Key Stoners, please tell me um, how long have you guys? I hear it's been a while that you've been together. Well, <laughs> since since we're kids, <laughs> um, we uh, my dad's a minister. And his he went to my church. Um, but we weren't in a band un until two years ago. But um, I've been in band since I was 15. Um, and uh, Mark's, Mark makes his own music under the name. Go say your name. MJM's Invisible Friends. MJM's Invisible Friends. So he puts out like tapes all the time under that name. And uh, he used to always help out uh, bands I was in. And he actually was kind of in one of my, my the bands, that, uh, not my band, one of the bands I was in called Romeo Vegas. Uh, he was a, sort of a member of that band, sort of. We never really figured out what he was going to do. <laughs> and then the band broke up. It actually exploded. <laughs> it imploded. Imploded. <laughs> a lot of people had uh, interesting habits that they brought to that band. They didn't work out. But anyway. That's the music biz. That's the music biz. <laughs> but it's a journey to achieve journey. That, that music, that art. It, it, yeah, you got to do a lot of things that you probably shouldn't do. <laughs> but uh, years, years later, uh, I stopped being in bands. I got married and tried to be a civilized human being. And uh, that didn't work out. I think we all attempt <laughs> to do that. that it's actually, yeah, I one divorce to another. Because I've done it a couple of times already, and I don't think I want to do third. It's a charm. <laughs> third is a charm. <laughs> no way, man. I'm good. He, he's divorced too, so it's the yeah. whole, it's this whole thing. thing. Yes. So like, uh, we we ended up uh, moving into a apartment together, like the like the punk rock odd couple. <laughs> and um, you somebody, guys should do a punk rock version of the song. <laughs> 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 I want to do a whole show. I want to just make our own little like show. <laughs> but uh, yeah, somebody came over our house one time for a party and left a drum set. And if it wasn't wasn't for that, we probably wouldn't be a band. But because we had a drum set, it's in always the house, a good thing. We started playing. I actually this summer I was at a flea market. I found a drum set for twenty bucks. We jam on it all the time. It was the best twenty bucks I ever spent. Yep. It doesn't need to be like two hundred or twenty or four hundred. Just making music. That was Brian, right? We should give props. Brian. We get props to Brian. Oh, please, Brian, Bailey. Brian Bailey. Thank you for the drum set that he hasn't asked for back yet. We're still using the same set. Permanent loan. <laughs> permanent <laughs> loan. Yeah. Um. So, I guess I guess what that would bring me next to is um. Okay. So we're all members of the divorce club. I'm sure that has inspired some of the titles for the songs that mm. you were playing, oh, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. What, what, what would you say um, inspired those? Well, uh, a lot of stress. Um. We do have a song which we're gonna play in a little little bit called.
called Marriage Advice, which really sums up my entire opinion of being married. Um, but also, you have a lot of other sort of songs in there that involve issues and problems. <laughs> uh, what about um? J j I just ha I just I have I have to ask. What about ginormous balls? Ah, ginormous Tell balls. Tell me, I'm so <laughs> curious. <laughs> ginormous balls. Yeah, that uh, that one. Um, that one came, I can't even remember exactly what brought that on, but I was, I, 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 I remember I had to deal with something. I like, I talked to my boss or something, and I remember thinking to myself, you gotta be confident. You gotta be confident, you gotta go in there confidence. And suddenly it hit me, it's like, what do you gotta do? I gotta bring my balls today. That's what I gotta do, I gotta bring my balls today. Strap on your and the sack. song just kind of fell together after that. So I actually wrote the song as a song you can play in your head, sing along to it in your head whenever you need to have balls. You can just like start singing, I brought my balls today, and you know, it'll make you feel better. That's Which is like Awesome Incarnate, too. Say. We have the song Awesome Incarnate, and that's when you really need confidence. Like if you're talking to a, a girl that you like or something, a yep. really cool idea is to sing I'm Awesome Incarnate in your head, and then you're going to act like you're awesome because confidence is sexy. Confidence <laughs> is very, very sexy. Um, so speaking of confidence, I, you guys you guys got some shows coming up, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Kind of up and down the East Coast a little <laughs> bit, the New England area. Yeah, we're nonstop New England tour. Yeah, right? <laughs> but no, you guys are gonna be up in Maine. Up in Maine, Portland, Maine. Geno's. We're playing next week, Saturday uh, at Geno's. Um, with um, I'm gonna draw a blank on everybody's name. Nuclear boots. Nuclear boots. Oh my God, my best friends in that <laughs> band. And uh, <laughs> anyway. Did you guys uh, pick the uh, the artwork for that flyer with the chip yes, going into the? Yes, I, uh, I actually did that flyer. Yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. And. Uh, I have I have kids and my um I was working on the flyer and my my uh, six year old daughter looked at the flyer and she was like, is that girl all right? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, sure. And then because it, it's a picture of a skater a uh, girl skating who's fallen through the wooden. Part all you of see the is like rink. legs hanging <laughs> all out. All you see is legs sticking out. And I was like, sure. And then I thought about it. I was like, I hope so. Is she dead? <laughs> I'm gonna feel really bad about using this for a flyer if that girl's dead. <laughs> it didn't even occur to me. You're all right? over. You're all. Be all over social like media. Like somebody, it's yeah. like somebody who lives in Maine. That's my daughter. You're like, oh, that's so fine. you see it on T-shirts all over the place. There you go. Yeah. Um, so what, what's the other local show that you play? Oh uh, yeah, we're coming back here at Lowell. We're coming back to Uncharted, the most amazing Uncharted, and we're gonna be playing on the 26th with uh, Stroke Volume, who is really one of the best local bands. You gotta see them. February, and, right? Huh? February, February 26th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. February 26th, thank you, man. So you're there for the important stuff. I am. You're just so perfect. February 26th, <laughs> Uncharted? Yeah, Bent Knee, too. They're amazing. Um, and we're gonna be there. Daily Bros are gonna be there. Of are they course. say brothers or you say bros? I don't brothers. know. Brothers. And um, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a fun show. It's gonna be really, we're gonna be giving, uh, God, I almost said giving up. We're gonna, be, we're we're gonna have our uh, new CDs available. Uh, which is Blizzard of Us, which is a 21-track CD. It's <laughs> wow. probably about 35 minutes long. So, <laughs> that's pretty neat. So everyone out there, check out those shows. Check out their new CD, Blizzard of Us. Yep. 22 tracks on that that you've got to 21, absolutely. Yeah. 21, 21. We'll make it I get ADD. It's you get the special. She gets the special version. That's 22. <laughs> yes, yes. I get the extra special song for me. And um, do you guys got Facebook or a website out yeah, there? We're Jim? there on Facebook. We're there on Bandcamp. We're all over YouTube. You can even see our first show, which is slightly embarrassing. So, so they Google Captain but Martini and the Keystoners. So you guys exactly. are going to come up on everything. Our name, nobody right, else has so it. So Google the hell out of that. And <laughs> Google us. All right. So this is this is Miss Pretty Stitches. This is Captain Martini and the Keystoners. And you're watching LTC Thank Sessions. You. LTC. And we're coming right back with some live music. Yeah. All right. Well, I wasn't expecting that. There was some, uh, there's some good information on that one. So we're we're gonna take a little break, get set up in the studio. Everybody's gonna get relaxed, and we're coming back with set two, LTC sessions. Captain Martini and the Keystoners coming at you live next.
anyone is old enough to remember the low strip, where he used to drive around <laughs> around in a circle to try to pick up chicks. Although we're always moving, so it really could never work. But this is what we used to do when gas was really, really cheap. And I wrote a song about the good old days. It's called Go. <laughs> Let's go. This song, we talked about this in the interview. It's a song about marriage. It's our advice to you if you're thinking about getting married. It's called marriage advice, conveniently enough. I was married. No, I'm not. I was married. No, I'm not. I was married.
got through another one. It is the LTC sessions and we are done. We had Captain Martini and the Keystoners. Two old guys, too big of a sound. If you can't handle it, you're too old, even older than these guys. And I want to thank my co-host, Miss Pretty Stitches. I want to thank uh, our producer. I want to thank uh, Steve Maddock. I want to thank uh, Britt Bogner. I want to thank Patrick Meany, the sound engineer that can make the sound bigger than it's ever been. And I want to thank all our camera people. I want to thank Luis Lopez. I want to thank Mitchell Similian. I want to thank uh, Alec Gervais, who wasn't even here. I want to thank uh, Aaron King. He was here. I hope he's here because I'm giving him credit for something he's ever done. Hey, if you want to check it out, ltc.org. You've got the uh, LTC Sessions playlist. And uh, we're doing it every month. You got a problem with it? You got you to gotta, you gotta come down. You got to do something better than we're doing. It ain't hard, folks. It's public access. Give it a shot there, buddy boy. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for watching the show. Thank you for being a part of our lives. Oh. <laughs> Thank you.
Shoshong syndrome. <laughs> one, one, two, three, four. Shoshong syndrome. Okay. <laughs> All right, oh, what do you want to do there, buddy boy? We got time for another one. We didn't think of it. Rock and roll funeral? No, not rock and roll funeral. Uh, uh, huh? <laughs> We'd have to switch. Can't do balls without switching. But we can do, oh, what can we do on the side? Oh, tacos. Ta no, don't want to do tacos? I'm running out of ideas. I, I need a song. Throw me a song. Oh, you're horrible. Um, <laughs> ah, we're out.